Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today I have a question for you. Have you ever felt so frustrated because you tried to do something and it felt impossible? Maybe you were trying to build something great or braid your doll's hair or trying to... Otto! Are you trying to open your jar of treats? It's not working. Well, today, I'm sharing one of Aesop's fables about not giving up to accomplish what you need. You know, I, I could probably help you, but I have a feeling that you can figure this out. You wanna try some more? <laughs> Go try some more. Let's read The Crow and the Pitcher. Once upon a time, there was a crow who took great joy in flying very long distances across the countryside, past the mountains, through the trees. She loved the wind through her feathers and flew everywhere her wings could take her. After many days of flying, she soon became very, very thirsty. She looked for water to drink, as she always did, but found that everywhere she flew, no water was in sight. She was beginning to grow weak and knew that if she did not find water soon, it would be troublesome. So she kept flying, seeking something that would quench her thirst. Soon she approached what looked like a farm. Surely there will be water here, she exclaimed, relieved and weary from her travels. She descended towards what looked like a barn with a tidy wooden fence around it. And on that fence was a tall, narrow pitcher with what looked like water inside it. There wasn't much left inside, but it would be enough to help her on her way. She flew down to find the water was so low in the pitcher that she could not reach far enough into it to take a sip. I must have that water, she cried, now becoming anxious. I am too weary to fly any farther without it. The crow was clever and was determined to find a solution to solve her dilemma. She paused to think. I know, I'll tip the pitcher over and drink from the puddle the spilled water will make. She was delighted with her idea. The crow beat the pitcher with her wings, but it was too heavy. She could not move it. Then she thought some more. I know, I'll break it. That'll surely work. With her beak and claws, she pecked and scratched and threw herself against the pitcher with no luck. It was too strong and she could not break it. By now, the poor crow was completely discouraged. She stopped to rest. There must be a way. If only I had enough wit to figure this out. She sat on the edge of that fence and thought long and hard. She looked at the sky, she looked at the ground, and then she had a bright idea. In the dirt below, there were many small stones lying about, scattered in the earth. One by one, the crow swooped down and picked them up and dropped them into the pitcher, one by one. It took her a very long time. Slowly, the water rose until at last it was high enough for her to drink it. How good it tasted! Better than she remembered water ever tasting. There is always a way out of hard places, said the crow, as long as you have the wit and smarts to figure it out. The end. That was one clever crow. What an inspiring story. Otto! You opened the jar! I'm impressed. You know, Otto, there's a very big word that means to not give up. Do you know what that word is? Perseverance. Can you say that? It's very good. You know, having perseverance is very important. Sometimes things are really hard, but without perseverance, people would just stop trying and give up. And think of how many great ideas would be lost if everyone just gave up when things got hard. Do you promise to always have perseverance, Otto? <laughs> Deal. Would you like me to help you get a treat? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Thanks.
Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep figuring things out with perseverance. Here you go. We're so glad you joined us for today's reading. Otto's Tales is made possible through the generous support of donors like you. You can help us keep the stories coming by going to PragerU.com slash donate today.